can take and we're gonna be with Dana Joy. <laughs> and we're gonna just, I'm basically gonna pass it off to her and she's gonna tell us all the fun stuff and all the new things with Hero Artics. Hey everybody, we are doing this lovely make and take right here. This is one of our layering stamps. So I have a young lady right here who I'm gonna show how to do this. So what we've already done is we've set up all of your stamps. So it's going to build up to this design, right? The first one we're going to do, we're going to stick this right in the corner of our Misty. And the Misty is a stamping platform that's going to allow us to assist in lining everything up. All right? So the first one you're going to do is you're going to do your inking. So do you want to do that? This one's tied cool. Yes, this one is tied cool. So you're just going to ink all that up right there. All right. Go ahead and put that aside. And then you can just go ahead and flip this over. And when it flips over, you're going to have your first layer. Okay? Kind of like press that in like a good massage. <laughs> and then we can go ahead and lift that up. Now, this is very light. If you want this to be dark, you just build your color up. Okay. So we have a very light impression. If you want to get this to be darker, you're going to do the same thing. Okay. Gonna stamp it up. Always make sure your paper is stuck right there in the corner and then you press back down. Now that's the good thing about these inks, they're buildable. If you want a really soft palette, you can just stamp it once to get a soft palette. If you want to build up your color saturation, you just make sure you use one of these and you can line everything up perfectly. Okay, so now we have a darker palette. Then we're going to move on to this one. Now this color here is going to be our next color. Okay, so this is where we're going to see our purple then. Okay, so that's orchid ink. Again, we're going to put this right in the corner. And before I even start, I'm just going to show you. If I flip this over, you see it's filling in some of the white spaces. So that's how we're building that design up. So same thing. You can just go ahead and take your ink. And you're going to stamp that up. Like I said, you're going to see that we're filling up a lot of these white spaces. We'll press that down. Great coverage on that one. We'll move to our next layer. Close that up. So again, we're putting everything back into this corner since everything's already lined up perfectly for you. So this is our green apple ink. And again, if I close this down real quick, you're seeing it's covering up more of our white space. So you can try to ink that up. Go ahead and close the lid. And then go ahead and press down. Exactly. Okay. Lift the lid back up. Now we have our green section. We're going to go one more time over to this beautiful blue. Again, line that up in the corner. And then one more time. You see, it fills in the rest for you. So go ahead and press that color down. Perfect. You go ahead and close our lid. Go ahead and press that down. And then when we lift that up, we have our full design now. And that was just going through our layers. And then this, that was our blue ink. So now we have our layers down. Now, we need to stamp our sentiment. So we're going to come over to this side. And we're going to go Somebody ahead. Ask, is that Dana Joy? Oh, yes, yes. it is. <laughs> and look who's next to her. Poking up hey, hey, everyone. <laughs> and this here is heat embossing. Now, in order to get this gold texture you're seeing on here, and if you feel it, you feel yeah, that is right. rise up, right? So in order to achieve that, you need a clear ink and you need embossing powder. So the clear ink is a watermark ink. So say for instance, you wanted to do that background I showed you earlier, but you just wanted the print of it in no color. You just wanted the print clear. You can use this and it makes a watermark across okay. your background. But in order to use heat embossing, you need this. So I'm gonna go ahead and give that to you. I'm gonna go ahead and push your corner, your card here in the corner. Now your sentiment is over here. So we're just gonna go ahead and tap that on. 
And before we close the lid, a good tip is to use the anti-static because you're gonna have static from your hands touching it. So this is just powder okay. with the brush. So you're gonna tap that on just to make there's no static on there. All right, so go ahead and press down your lid. And then the same thing, you kinda wanna walk your fingers across. And you can kind of see, like when you press down, you can kind of see where it touches into the paper, and that's kind of what you want. All right, you can lift that up. Now, it's clear, because it's like that watermark, right? Yeah. So what you're going to do is just sprinkle a little bit of this on here, and this is when the magic happens. This is like Christmas. Oh, so now that's wow. like gold ink, right? So if you just had ink. But the beauty of it is when you heat it. So once you have it on there, you just tap up any excess. Now you're going to come over and heat it up. So now you can just go and take your heat tool. Not right there in the back. And then the best thing is to kind of like wave it back and forth. Like, you know, if you're having a hot flash. <laughs> wait, oh, yeah. 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 All right, you gotta see where she's doing the hot flash. I'm not gonna touch her, but you're gonna end up seeing how it's going to change color. So right now, it looks like a little chalky finish. Pick up the glass if I can see better. And then as you heat it, you're gonna start seeing it rise up like this. So can you see it? Can you see that changing now? It's becoming shiny. Yep. Once you can see where you tilt your card and you no longer see like that chalkiness, then you know you have everything heat set. That's enough? Let's see. We got a little bit over here we still need to work on. And let's see. Alright, maybe a little bit over here. Alright, let's take a peek. I like kind of tilt it to the light. And kind of see, now I'm going to show you. If I tilt, you can still see no, that that's there. not, yes, that that's not high or that's not melted. So the good thing, I'm going to show you real quick if you hold this. If you do it like this and kind of move away, you'll be able to see when it changes. See how quick that was? Yep. Make sure when you're using your heat gun too, it's nice and hot. Because that's going to make this heat set a little bit faster for you. Okay. So now you have your design. Right, so we went through all of our layering and then we did our heat embossing. The last thing you want to do is you want to put a bridge on our pond, yeah. right? So we have our little bridge already heat embossed for you. And we're going to pop that up. Well, I want to do one that I've already pop my holes out of. I always hit those little Klingons, they just like hang on there. Yeah, like, Come just on, hang from dear light. <laughs> get off. So then here's your little pond. And you can put this over. Now, you can take just regular tape, adhesive, okay. and put this down. Or you can do like this and pop it up. Gives your card a little bit of dimension. So what you're going to do, these are just pop-up dots. And they're going to be sticking on both sides. Do I need three of them? Yep, so you just kind of want to fill it so it's kind of even when you put it on your card. I'm like a pop-up fanatic, so... You know, I'm heavy handed with my pop up dots. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I am too. I am too. And then you can probably put one yeah. right like there. Somebody's saying she remembers you from Periscope. Oh my god, Periscope, God bless. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and then we can go ahead and put that just like this one. And always remember, too, if you're making a card and you're not like thrilled with it, it becomes your sample card. Just remember that. So this way you know if you've gone through a process and you're like, I like it, but I wish I would have changed something, hold on to the card. It's not a sample card for you to reference back to. Yeah. And the last thing you want to do is put that on a card base. Now on the card base, that's when we're going to just use this. So this is just a this is just adhesive, basically. And you can just roll it onto the back of your card and then just pop it on. So I'm going to try to get it perfectly but I'm upside down. So I'm 
do my very it's best. It's hard to do it upside down. I know, right? You don't know? Okay. And then there's your card! Beautiful. I'm so proud of you! <laughs> Very beautiful. Great she made her. Is this your first card Thank ever? You. That's my first card. It's her ever. first card. She did amazing. Yay! Yay. <laughs> so now you just learned. This is our layering. This is our heat embossing. And these here are our die cuts. Okay. So that is Hero Arts over here in the Hero Arts, and we have the amazing Dana Joy joining us. Hello, hello. Is there any other fun stuff that's going on that you want to mention that's new in Hero Arts right now? Well, we have new catalogs coming up for guys. So you don't want to miss that. Anymore. When does that come out? Media. So I'll give you like a little bit of. Oh, okay. 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 Right here. So this is jam-packed with a lot of mixed media stuff. And then there's a little couple more goodies that probably shouldn't talk about right now. But they're coming your way and you're gonna absolutely love them. So get your dollars ready. So you guys, if you remember me from Periscope, you know I like to shop. So this is it, get your money ready. You guys are gonna want this. Um, so of course we have our amazing boards here. This is from all of our design teams and some of our crafty friends who's able to make a lot of these for us. Um, so yeah. Stay tuned, we have a lot of our sleeves, and um, yeah. And they'll be all coming on social media, so stay yes, tuned to yes, like Hero Arts. Yes, Hero Arts on social media. Um, I can't give you an exact date, because I don't remember off the top of my head. Next couple months? But, oh, yeah, way before the next Okay, month. okay. So you guys are going to see Soon. some amazing things. Um, maybe some, you know, new papers, new, oh, things, oh, new oh, things oh. in total. So yeah. Just watch the catalog. That's all I can tell you. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Just, right. you know, you'll just be flipping through and you'll see something that says new. And then you'll know. Absolutely. So, yeah. Stay tuned. We have a tons of stuff coming. And um, thank you guys for always supporting your art. That's yeah. what we so stay tuned, there's a lot more crafty videos coming your way. This was Hero Arts, the make and take. And if you don't know, any, like check all their stuff, HeroArts.com. And then, yeah, sneaky yeah. peek about this coming yeah. very soon. <laughs> all right, back with more videos in a little bit. But we are done with Hero Arts. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye, buddy. Say bye. Bye. Okay, say bye. <laughs> bye, everyone. <laughs>